and welcome to Oasis Lactation Services on YouTube. Um, I wanted to try things that I saw on the internet in a mom group. So um, I've been reading a lot of posts about what's going to make me make more milk or what kind of nutrition should I be getting during lactation. And so I discovered that I actually buy some of these products and use them myself, not for lactation, um, but because I like them. So I wanted to talk about the products. I wanted to show you how they're made according to the package directions. And if any of these self reports um, kind of line up with some science that we know about how lactation and nutrition may or may not really be that well connected. So the product that we have is called Liquid IV, which I find kind of an interesting name um, because intravenous fluid is in fact liquid. Um, but this is supposed to be, I think the name is marketing, that drinking this is similar to IV intravenous hydration, um, you know, where they hook you up. So the directions, and so I actually got measuring devices, the directions are that one packet goes in 16 ounces of fluid. Grab my scissors. Um, so we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna talk about the ingredients. So that's one packet, and I'm doing it in a mason jar because I know that I'm not going to like the flavor at this concentration and I'm going to have to finish my food. So I'm putting in 16 fluid ounces. Um, I happen to use filtered water. Um, some of us have really good water systems where we live. Others of us don't. Um, I like using filtered water because I like the flavor better. Um, I actually live in a place with pretty clean water right now. Uh, so this is the 16 ounces. And it's kind of designed um, the way it's packaged as if you can take this little sachet, this little powdery pack, and dump it right into like a 16 ounce bottle of water, um, which would be something easy to keep like in your diaper bag or extras in your car. Um, if you keep an emergency preparedness kit in your car, you should probably have a couple water bottles and change those out kind of regularly. Um, so, this one's the passion fruit flavor, which I actually really like passion fruit as a fruit. Um, and so we've got some cloudiness, um, which it's probably the minerals. So the ingredients here, um, we see that this has cane sugar and dextrose as the main ingredients. Uh, and that's kind of sweet, right? So those are both carbohydrates. Those are both simple carbohydrates, they're sugars. Um, so it's gonna taste amazing. Um, and then we've got some salt, potassium citrate, sodium citrate, and dipotassium phosphate. Um, and now we start to get into stevia, vitamin C, and some B vitamins. So when I'm looking at the nutrition facts, and you know, I do like the way nutrition facts are pretty easily laid out. Um, the potassium content is kind of high compared to some of the other things that we might be drinking. Um, so it looks like it's got 370 milligrams, which they list as 11% of your daily value. Women who are pregnant or lactating actually have a little bit elevated potassium needs. So increasing potassium in the diet during pregnancy and lactation um, is probably a good idea. Is that necessarily going to translate to more milk making? Not always, always, right? One, they're not causal, but they could definitely be correlated. If hydration is something that you struggle with and increasing your mineral intake as well as your fluid intake, that could definitely help you if dehydration is in fact part of the reason why your milk supply isn't where you want it to be. So let's do, so it's settled a little bit. It's a little less cloudy. Let's do the taste test. I know it's gonna be really sweet. So this is to me like dessert. Um, I am not a sweet tooth person. I'm not a dessert person. I am a savories kind of person. Um, so for me, this is quite sweet and I would want to dilute it. So I put it in a big cup. I would want to go ahead and double dilute it so that I like the flavor. And this is a product I use in real life. Um, 
I tend to swim a lot and that can be quite dehydrating. Um, you don't even realize how dehydrated you're getting when you're swimming. Um, so when I go to the pool, I usually have one of these either before or after or both, depending on how long I'll be swimming. Um, and I mix it up like this. And that's much better for me. That's much better for me. So then the question would be, if I make something, if I make a food or a drink product, not per the manufacturer's recommendation, is the nutrient level still correct? Um, so this is really just kind of like a vitamin supplement. Um, and we can take our vitamins with water, we can take our vitamins with juice, you know, unless it's a, vit uh, unless it's a type of vitamin that you're not supposed to, but most of them are okay. Um, so really, we're still getting any perceived or theoretic benefit by intaking that um, vitamin supplement. So other claims that it makes are two to three times more hydration than water alone, utilizing cellular transport technology. Um, cellular transport technology, they've got some cute little diagrams here, some chemical diagrams. To me, that just looks like basic biochemistry, the way electrolytes function in the body and help move fluid around. Um, three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. Um, I think that's kind of an interesting thing to talk about. Um, you know, a product like this versus a prepared sports drink that's already mixed in a bottle. You know, some of those have a sugar source that we might not particularly want to choose. Um, there's a lot of concern about corn. Um, and corn syrup. The other thing that I do like about this is that there isn't any coloring added, and I find most sports drinks tend to have a colorant added, and I personally don't like to do anything extra. Uh, maybe I'm a little on the lazy side. It says great taste, and I will give that uh, a half thumbs up because I like it diluted. Um, and then it says five essential vitamins, and it lists a group of B vitamins. The B6 and the B12 um, are, are really high, and B vitamins are really important for nerve signaling. Nerve signaling is important for milk ejection reflex and letting your body know that you need to make more milk. So anything that improves nerve signaling is probably a good idea. The thing with B vitamins is they're water soluble, which means that we just urinate them out if we don't use them. And it means our body doesn't store them. So if we have a day where we're really deficient in B vitamin rich foods and beverages, we may see that we need more of those B vitamins to feel better, right? We know that well nurtured parents take better care of their babies. If your nutrition is good, you'll have more energy and feel better. So it's much easier to meet that pumping demand, meet that middle of the night nursing demand, handle that cluster feeding session if you are really healthy yourself. So it doesn't hurt to take good care of yourself. Um, so will this make you make copious amounts of milk? Probably not, probably not. But if you're suffering from dehydration, um, I, you know, we should definitely address that. If you're a person who doesn't like to drink plain water, um, that's definitely something you could do to jazz up your water a little bit. Um, and, you know, worst case scenario, completely inert, not dangerous for breastfeeding. Best case scenario, we're replenishing things that we're missing that could be related to having a hard time, particularly with pump output because pumping is a little bit more challenging than direct nursing with a baby that has a really excellent functional latch. So if we're trying to replace a really excellent functional latch with a pump, we wanna give our body every little bit of head start it can possibly get. So I would say it gets a thumbs up. I would use this and wouldn't feel unsafe with it. Um, doesn't seem to have anything in it that's contraindicated with breastfeeding. And worst case scenario, there's no change. So that's something that I saw in a mom group. If you've got something you've seen in a mom group that you would like me to taste, review, and show you guys how to make, I'd be more than happy to. Leave it in the comments. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Oasis Lactation Services on YouTube.